Hey everybody and welcome back to a brand new modeling video in Maya 2019. Uh, today we're going to do a subscriber request and we're going to be modeling a fish hook. All right, here we go. This video has been made possible by Luxion, the creators of Keisha. Alright guys, well here is our model for today. This is what we're going for and uh, although it might seem very simple, uh, it does have some challenges, right? Now the reason why we're doing this is because it's a subscriber request. It's a good uh, practice model, so that's what we're going to do. Now, um, a couple of ways you can approach this. You can take a torus and start from there. I like to do it manually because we've got more control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a polygon cylinder. Let's hit control a to open up the attribute editor and let's set this to eight subdivisions so that's fine uh, caps we don't really need those delete that and then we're going to go in here and i'm going to right click at a face and select the end faces and get rid of them right click at object mode e to rotate hold down j flip it on its side and then we're going to jump fuse and we're going to hit w and we're going to move it up here after frame, or to scale down till we approximately have the thickness that we want, right? I'd say this looks about right. Move it to that area right there. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go in here, double click on the edge, and I'm going to start by making this one a bit longer, like so. And then we're going to hit Control E to extend or extrude, and then pull out something like this, right? I'm going to hit 5 for shaded mode or turn off my x-ray so we can see it better. I'm going to hit G to repeat. I'm going to hit W to pull it out again. G to repeat. W to pull out. And obviously you're going to want to try and keep your sections the same. And here you're very faintly starting to see some curve, right? So G to repeat again. W to move. And at this point we're going to slightly push it down. But also, we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate that edge a little bit. And maybe even push down a bit more, right? We're going to hit G to repeat again. We're going to hit uh, E to move that out to about here. Again, rotate that. G to repeat. W to move. And E to rotate. And what you're aiming for is, as soon as you hit this horizontal edge line on the grid here, you want this thing to be uh, horizontal as well, right? So we're going to hit G to repeat again, W to push down again, and try and keep those sections roughly the same size. Curve some more, G to repeat, W to push down, E, curve some more, and we're getting pretty close, right? So this needs to come in just a bit. G to repeat, W to push down. So now we're getting to that vertical section. And at this point, you basically have to be flat like this, right? Now I mentioned the horizontal line here. Basically you're, what you're focusing on is where the section of the vertical piece of the hook is, right? Okay, so we're gonna have G to repeat again, W to move down to about here. E to rotate a little bit, G to repeat, W to move down. Here we've got some strong curvature, so we need to adjust accordingly. Kind of move that, G to repeat, W to push down. And again, pretty strong curve, so move that. Hit W, move a little, G to repeat, W to push down, E to rotate. G and W like this and E to rotate and G and W and that's about right angle wise G and W and now you really need to push it in so we're also going to hit R and we're also going to rotate it a bit and hit W and kind of push it down a little, right? G to repeat and then W and basically push that to the end. Hit E to rotate. 
hit R to scale that way down. And then we're gonna go in here after frame that. And you wanna close that up. So you're gonna to go to mesh and fill hole, which will give you an end gun. So now you have to go to face and then poke, which will create triangles, right? Now, if we do a quick preview smooth here, we'll see if everything worked out. So hit three on your keyboard, which will give you this. Let's see if anything looks odd or weird or whatnot. Don't think so, maybe with the exception of this edge right here. So I'm gonna double click on this, hit R, very slightly scale it in. Just make sure I got the right control here. All right, so now we need to pull up a section here. So we need to hit one to go back. We need to identify where it's gonna be, which is basically on this face right here okay and that's where it's going on so we have that and it's two sides of course so it's that one and that one right okay so what we need to do here is let's go in and go to introduce loop option box um, multiple and one which will put one in the middle right there we can get Q on our keyboard, and then uh, from here, we need to extrude that out, right? So I need to uh, go in here, go to face, one and two, delete those. And then from here, take this edge, this one and that one. Control E to extrude. We're gonna W, and I'm gonna start to push that out like this. And let's just have a look from this point of view. Hopefully I can see it. Let me turn off my X-ray here. All right. So I got that. And then I'm going to hit, I'm going to pull it a bit further to about here. G to repeat, W to push up. And then G to repeat and W to push up again until we're about there, right? So let's get that sorted. Of course, that needs to be a point. So I'm going to go in here, go to Vertex, and take these two. Hopefully I got them both. Yeah, it looks like. The W, push them up a bit like that. And then we have these two. And we're going to push that in. And hit W and push that up a bit. And then we have these two. That looks about right, I would say. And now we need to sort how we're gonna fix all this, right? Okay, so uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh, I'm gonna start by going in here to edge one and two edit mesh and bridge which will fix that then i'll go in here and i'll go to mesh and fill hole which will fix that then we're going to go in here one and two edit mesh bridge one and two g to repeat one and two g to repeat of course that one doesn't want to oh of course not yeah sorry Double click, mesh and fill hole, right? Now we now have an end gone here. So we're gonna go here to poke, which will create triangles, which is okay. Uh, and let's see if this is working for us or not. I think I need to take this vertex right here, hit W and kind of push that in, but we'll see. We'll have a look and see how it pans out, right? So let's hit three to preview smooth. Not bad, uh, we need to, I want to go back. And I need to add a few reinforcements to make sure that it stays where it needs to stay, right? So let's go into um, Android Edge Loop option box. Let's set it to manual. Let's go in here. I don't want it to become too thin. 
and hopefully it's not going to have um, too much of an impact on the overall model here but we'll see Q on a keyboard three to preview smooth looks a lot better I want to go back here is where I need to sort something so I'm gonna go into vertex Hit W let's push that way back and the way in and maybe even push that one in a little all right three to preview smooth so we'll have this as our hook now we need to have the top eye there so we're going to hit one to go back and we know that we have eight sections here right um so let's see how we can and actually why not do this manually why not i mean we started that way let's end it that way right so we're going to do just to have a placeholder because this is quite tricky what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to take a torus and we're going to use the torus but it's just going to be a reference right so let's set this to eight by eight okay that's basically what we're going for so we're going to select this guy we're going to scale it down i would say that would be about the right size for this guy something like so maybe right and then the inside of the hook looks okay if we hit three that would actually be pretty good now i'm just thinking whether there's a way to properly connect these guys but we still need to have an opening at the end so i'm going to do as promised we're going to use it as a reference push that down a bit okay so we're going to go in here and we are going to right click and go to edge and double click on that edge if i can get to it yeah and i'm going to hit Control e to extrude and w to pull out now as we do that here you can immediately see that we have to work very hard to make those curves, right? So I'm going to move this out quite a bit, hit W, move it here. And it looks like we even need to have to bring it in a bit. So I'm going to move it here like this, G to repeat, W to pull out. So here again, rotate that quite a bit. G to repeat, do it pull out. And I need to do a lot of tweaking here, so don't call this complete, all right? So we're gonna go and curve that again. G to repeat, W to push down. That should be about here. G to repeat, W to push down. That should be about 45 degrees. G to repeat, W push down. This should be about vertical. G to repeat, W to push over. This should be almost 45 degrees again. And then G to repeat and W to push over. And this should almost meet up, right? Like that. And then maybe bring it in like so. Now, before we do any tweaking, let's take this guy, let's flip that one a little bit, and then hit W and push it back. That would kind of make sense. All right. Now, let's see what we need to do here. I'm going to double click on this. Double click on this. That one definitely needs to rotate. And maybe even move a little like this. So I'm I'm thinking it's not bad, but we'll see. Let's hit three to preview smooth. Yeah, like I said, it's not bad. All right, so we're gonna want to go back. Um, I'm gonna go in here to uh, a loop option box, single setting. Put one in here to hold that. If I can get to it. Come on. Uh, 
There you go. Q on a keyboard, object mode, three to preview smooth. And with that smooth in mind, I'm going to take the one at the bottom here, get rid of it. I'm going to take this guy and I'm still going to tweak it a little bit, right? So I'm going to hit B for soft select. Go to vertex. Let's hit one to go back. Let's take this B for soft select. All right. So let's move this a little. Take this, move that a little. Yeah, it's not too bad. Maybe this. That's not too bad. All right. So let's see if that thing is still open at the end here. It is. Q on a keyboard, B to turn off soft select. Let's go into edge, double click, mesh and fill hole. And then we have to go in here into face, select that face and go to poke to get rid of that ingon. So we have that and I think we can now go into object mode, mesh and smooth to actually smooth, right? Now, this thing overall, let me just go back in here. I'm kind of thinking I want to make these edges a bit bigger. So we're just gonna double click these guys Let's hit R and kind of grow the whole thing. Okay. Let's hit three again. I think that will look a little bit better, All right? Okay. And yeah, I think that is it guys. Now I'm wondering whether this opening is okay, whether we need to bring it in or not. And we have a little issue here because of that scaling. So I'll fix that. I'll go in here. Uh, let me just take these faces and sort that. That's what happened when I resize that whole thing. I think we've got everything. So I got edge, double click. Uh, edit mesh, uh, mesh, sorry, fill hole. And then face and then book. And we're good. All right. So, um, yeah. Three, one. Here's that insert again. Yep. Q on a keyboard, object mode, three. Yeah, I definitely want to bring that in a bit. So we're going to go to Vertex and we're going to select all of these. And we're going to hit W and I'm going to push that as close as possible. Because if we hit Q and then we go and hit 3, we'll get this, right? Which is okay. Right, so we're going to go back. We're going to go to Mesh and Smooth to actually smooth. Let's set this to sub level 2 which will get a nice clean model. And here is our fish hook. Right, so I'm gonna put some material on this in uh, Keyshot, but this is uh, the modeling bit and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something. If you got any questions, let me know as always. And that said, thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.